Hi dear friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Milestones of Our Life. In today's video, we will be discussing about the most important and powerful tips of OET speaking. We have already uploaded many OET videos, ILTS videos and many more. If you couldn't find them, just ensure that you have subscribed to Milestones of Our Life YouTube channel and check all videos. If you are watching our video for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and please share our videos to your loved ones. Thanks a lot for all your support and encouragement. If you would like to receive notification when we upload new videos, please click on the bell icon and highlight all option. So, are you ready? Can we start the presentation? Stay with us till the end for better understanding. Today is February the 19th. Oh, my OET date is approaching. I have not even started to prepare for speaking. Actually, I don't have any idea about it. How I can prepare for OET speaking. I am sure I won't be able to go to any training institutions. No. I am not going to give up. It is my greatest ambition to work abroad. And my parents also have so many expectations about me. So somehow I need to pass OET. Oh. Somebody is coming. Who is that? It is Miss Diana. She is coming at the right time. Thank God. Hi, Miss Diana, good morning. Good morning, dear. How are you, miss? I am fine. Thank you. Are you all right? Why you are standing alone here? Oh, miss. I was just thinking about my OET speaking test. To be honest, I didn't prepare well for that. You know, it is really hard for me to go for any training. Moreover, in the hospital, the workload is too much. I won't get any time for a proper practice. Don't worry, my dear. I can understand your situation. Come with me. I can tell some useful and very effective tips to you. After that tomorrow I can show you a detailed demonstration of OET speaking test. For reading and writing, you can watch videos uploaded by Milestones of Our Life. Subscribe to that channel and watch all their videos. It will definitely help you. So, tell me what you know about OET speaking. I know that speaking soft test is delivered individually and takes around 20 minutes. I have heard that OET uses materials specifically designed for our profession. Is that right? Yes, it is. In each role play, you take nurse's role while the interlocutor plays a patient, a client, or a patient's relative or carer. Okay. Understood. In each speaking test, your identity and profession are checked by the interlocutor and there is a short warm-up conversation about your professional background also. Then the role plays are introduced one by one and you have three minutes to prepare for each. The role plays take about five minutes each. Can you follow me? Yes, of course. You will receive information for each role play from your role play card. As you know, timing is very important in OET. You will have five minutes to cover all tasks. This means that you need to make a plan of what you can tell first, second and third. And you should also work out the beginning and ending. Oh, that's good. So that we can start role play immediately. How we can start the conversation? Actually, you have two possibilities. First one is that, the patient starts talking first and tells you why they are there to see you. In that case, you can start the role play straight away. It wouldn't be necessary to say hello, my name is XX. I'm the infection control nurse here. Okay. In the second case, you have T start the role play. In this case, 
You need to introduce yourself and find out what the problem is. Can you make it clear, please? Yes, of course. You can just imagine that the situation is like this. Patient is in A&D with a cut on the arm which is bleeding quite a lot. Here we need to say hello, I'm Diana. I'm one of the RNS here. Can you tell me a bit about what happened? K understood. Oh how we can manage our time? As per the role play card, if you have four tasks to cover, then you have around a minute each. That leaves you with one minute to finish the role play off. Remember, in Olipay, your responsibility is to show how well you can communicate. So I need to demonstrate as many communication skills as I can. Can you please tell me some tips so as to improve my OET speaking? M. The basic skills you need to demonstrate are, first one, introducing yourself and opening the conversation. Second, asking open-ended questions to encourage the patient or carer to speak. Third, taking turns in the conversation so that you can speak as much as possible. Then the fourth tip, summarizing what you have said or what the patient says. Encouraging the patient to change or try something. Last main tip is empathizing, especially in difficult situations or aggressive situations. During the role play, you can do one thing. What is that? You can introduce yourself, then ask an open-ended question to find out the problem and then confirm your understanding by saying that, okay so you said that you've had the leg ulcer for three weeks, right? You can reassure them by saying that you did the right thing. You straight away came to the hospital. You can show your empathy by saying that oh, I can imagine that this is very difficult for you. And you can also advise them by saying that it would be a good idea to keep your leg elevated when you take rest. I heard that we may get difficult patient or caregiver who is uncooperative, rude or even aggressive. So in such situation what I need to do? It may be a bit difficult for you. So you need to do proper practice before the test. The UN cooperative patient may say things like, No, I don't want to do that. I haven't got time for that. Or, it's okay for you, you know what you are doing. But, I don't have a clue what you want me to do. In case of rude or aggressive patients or carers, you need to be careful. Remember, aggression in hospitals often comes from fear of hey is going to happen or from feeling isolated or left out of decisions. The other reason for aggression are drug or alcohol or mental health related. Usually, you won't get any situations like that for OET role play. Can you please tell me some situations asked for OET? Okay, one situation. Caregiver talking to a community nurse. Caregiver is angry about what she sees as poor care for her mother. Your role is to explain a change in dressings for her mother but were interrupted. In this situation you can empathize with the carer by saying that, I can see that this has upset you a lot. And then try to come back to the topic. You can tell like, I was going to explain about the new dressings your mother is starting on tomorrow. Would you like to talk about your concerns about her care first? This kind of situation may be a little bit challenging. It is important to address the concerns but at the same time, you have to get the role play back on track. So practice some of the ways to do this so that the patient or the caregiver does not think that you are putting them off. I can tell you another situation. Patient's relative in the ward. He or she is angry because the patient says that she hasn't been offered any pain relief on that day. Relative says she can never find a nurse to talk to and has just walked up to you in the corridor. Okay, tell me what you will do in this situation. I will apologize to the relative without making any excuses. I will say, I'm sorry that you've had trouble finding a nurse to talk to. I can talk to you now if you like. I will ask some open-ended questions to find out about issue. 
I will ask. Can you tell me more about what's happening? Perfect. Now I can tell you about winding up of the role play. If at all possible, keep an eye on the time. As it gets to four minutes into the role play, start winding down. So we need to signpost to the patient that the conversation is nearly over. Exactly. Some of the ways you can begin that ending process are Summarize the conversation. It is particularly important if you have talked about something which needs reviewing in the future. Can you please give me an example? Yes, of course. In our first situation you can end up the conversation by saying that Okay, we've talked about your concerns about your mother's care. I have explained the new dressings which we'll start tomorrow. I will phone you next week to let you know how the dressings are going. If you have any other worries about your mother, you can call me at the community health center. Is that okay? You can tell one more thing in this last part. What's that? Actually, we can give patient information leaflet and suggest them to call the ward or community health center, etc. if they have any more question. Okay, now tell me how you will end up that conversation. I will say, I've covered the important points with you, but sometimes it's hard to take it all in. I've got the patient information leaflet here for you to take home. If you have any other queries, you can ring the number on the leaflet and they will help you. Well done. I think you got some idea. How do you feel now? Amazing. I feel more confident now. I think it is enough for today. I will give you more tips on the coming days. We can meet again tomorrow. But I want you to think about another scenario on the way back home. Homework. You need to think about the following situation. Okay, the situation is a mother with her sick child is in A and E. The mother is angry because other people have been seen before her child. Her child has a minor injury but a patient with severe injury after a car accident has just been brought in. Just think about the situation and practice the communication skill whenever you have free time. Definitely I will practice it. Thank you so much. Hi dears, did you enjoy the video? Hope you all got some idea about OIT speaking tips. In next video, I will give you more details about OIT speaking. If you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Remember, all your subscriptions are very precious to us. Once again thanks a lot for all your support. Bye for now. See you in the next video.